My name is Rosanna Hu, and this is my partner, Lyndon Neri. Lyndon and I are both architects by training and by profession, but after starting the practice of architecture, we also started another company called Design Republic. And Design Republic is, it's really a platform for design. We are about to open a new flagship store. It's in the city center of Shanghai, closer to the shopping district, and it's in an old building. It's not just a retail place, but it's also a place that we're excited as architects um, designing an old historical building that was formerly a police station and it became a school in the old English concession. Throughout the last 50 odd years, stores were added to this historical building. The first thing we were told was you cannot take these down even though they are illegal structure because they have in fact been grandfathered in. So what we did was we clad it with this glass. The idea was to create a platform in which designers can come and hear lectures, see exhibits, be able to be in a design restaurant, have retail experiences. So these different functions, we were able to fit them in a boutique way. And upstairs on the third floor, we have Design Republic Home, which is now turning into a one-room hotel idea. The architectural challenge was what attitude to take as an architect to renovate an old building. I think we're able to do something where we really respected the big frame of the architecture in terms of its form, its material, the facade is completely kept, but we really push the boundary when it comes to the interior articulation of the spaces. It's a three-story old building and we were able to create a lot of two-story atrium, either hallways or atrium entries into the three-story building so that there's a lot more communication between floors, between rooms, a lot of visual corridors that we're able to create that did not used to exist. Obviously, it's a very subjective interjection, but those decisions were made to expose some old, creating some new. The notion of layering is very clearly seen. So while you're walking and progressing through the space, the old and new is constantly in front of you. The idea of framing between one room to another room, from an old space to a new space, is prevalent all throughout the project. It's been done in the West many times, but in China there are old buildings, and the interior is always this ostentatious, for a lack of better description, bling bling experience. So they try to preserve the outside, and the inside is this new intervention uh, that has no resemblance to what the outside, or even speaks to what the outside is about. The strategy of how we use material to redesign the building is using very quiet, minimalist, and very modern material to contrast with the old bricks. But what we also did is we very consciously kept certain kind of found interior treatments. One panel that used to be an old plaster wall when we went for a site visit we saw the plaster wall about to be torn down and part of the plaster is still on. So we told the construction team to stop right there, don't take it off, and, and we left that piece of wall in there. Just as a reminder of the history of the building, and I think it's very important for people who come into a historic building to have certain pieces of reality, of, you know, of, to be able to touch the, the the, the kind of the inside of, of the building and that is you know kind of revealed for, for everyone to see and that's kind of a special moment that, that we really like. The Western media likes to portray China as this big behemoth, bigger, better, richer, um, crasher version of perhaps America. Um, but you will be surprised because there are actually uh, a group of people that are interested even in the government sectors, even in the business center, uh, sectors, even the banking sectors that are interested in sort of the small, the delicate, uh, the things with meaning and purpose. Um, albeit it's small, um, and unfortunately some of these group of people have not been highlighted as much 
uh, because it doesn't sell newspapers. Um, and I, I believe uh, through time um, it will come out. Um, and yes, historically there were times when um, there are not a lot of projects that give, gave architects this opportunity um, to do small projects, um, but I think um, this is growing and, and I believe it's important.